Hello everybody, it is me, Lemon Gaming here. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can install IDOS again for well not well, after the revoke. Um I'm gonna go on I am just right now. Yeah, I'll delete it quick. Let me show you guys. Guinea pig, be quiet. Okay. So just delete it here for you guys. As you can see, IDOS right there. Um, there is no need for computer or anything. So basically, what you need to do is on uh, other one. I'll show you guys right now that the one from I Emulators doesn't work. I think there's one on I Emulators, isn't there? Oh, what the heck? Check. Here, let's click on apps. Um, is there? Yeah, there's one right here. IDOS. It says date trick, but it doesn't doesn't work. Let me see this. Click install, and I think do the date trick. I don't know. But either way, it doesn't really work. It it just doesn't work. I even did it with the date trick, and it just doesn't work. It, I think it's revoked. But it just doesn't say it, because I can't install it. So basically, and that also doesn't last forever, so. Um, this one also, this one lasts forever. But you can't actually view the inside of it and put in your own DOS games, but it does act let you access the DOS shell. So, so I'm going to show you guys how you can do it. So, you need to switch to the Yemeni's app store. Now, I know you guys are going to be like, what the heck? Why would that make a difference? Trust me, it does. Um, you switch to the Yemeni's app store, and um, yeah. But as you can see, my most recent purchase is iDOS. I purchased this like two days ago, I think. And you'll notice it's not loading because I'm on the USA App Store right now. But basically, the Yemeni's App Store has IDOS available for download for 99 cents USD. So you still do have to pay, but it's only a dollar, so it's not too bad. You might already have it in your iTunes account. I have nothing right now because I spent it all. So, um, yeah. So let me go into here again and let me show you guys. Just download it from the cloud. Um, download plus, um, plus download. Okay, I don't know what happened the first time, but as you can see, the downloading IDOS, and it was loading like that because it was on the app store at one point, but it's not anymore. So you can click open. <laughs> nice intro sequence there and um it's gonna show this white box and you can't do anything so what you need to do is hit the home button and restart idos it'll come up with this access the dos shell you see that little c colon slash in the bottom like with the pin on it Tap that and you can access the shell, but for some reason mine just crashed. Well, let me keep seeing. Let me see if this will work this time. Yeah, there we go. So we have the DOS shell. Click on that little keyboard down there to access the keyboard. You could type in stuff, see the directory. Um, this directory is basically inside the app, so you can still see what's inside the app, but you can't edit it really. Um because iTunes file sharing is a stupid idiot. So, um, if you guys have iOS 8.3 or below, you can import your own games. But if it is not below, if you have iOS, like, 8.3 or above, then you can't import games. You're, you have to be jailbroken, too. So, you know. Um, let me give you guys a little example here. I forgot how to get out of here. Dang it. Okay, um, I don't remember how to get out of here, so I have to tap settings, go back, and back again.
to add games, you just click on the game right here. And there's audio there. And click on a game. It'll launch it from the DOS shell. And there you go. So, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.